Hello, how to solve c plus 1 equals c? So we are going to start by taking the squares of both part of this equation. We have c plus 1. This is raised to the power of 2. And this equals c raised to the power of 2. Now for us to expand this, we can refer back to this identity. If you have a plus b raised to the power of 2, this equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and in this case the c here is our a and the 1 here is our b so this equals for a squared we have c squared plus this is 2 times c times b which is 1 plus 1 power 2 so from here we are going to have this is c squared plus 2c 1 that is 2 times c times 1 that is 2c plus 1 squared this is 1 now that means our equation becomes c squared plus 2c plus 1 and this equals c squared so from here we can have c squared eliminate c squared we have 2c plus 1 equals 0. So from here, we can have 2c equals negative 1. And solving for c, we divide this by 2. We divide this by 2. 2 eliminates 2. And we can have c equals negative 1 over 2. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to check if this particular value of c will satisfy the equation so we have check let's recall the problem we have c plus 1 equals c we are going to substitute this for c we have negative 1 over 2 plus 1 equals negative 1 over 2 there is a question mark here because we are trying to check this is over 1 and the common LCM here is 2 2 divides 2, 1, 1 times negative 1, this is negative 1, plus 2 divides 1, 2, 2 times 1, we have 2. Is this equals negative 1 over 2? Negative 1 plus 2, this is 1 over 2, and this is not equal to negative 1 over 2. So this means that the answer that we have here is obviously very wrong. Now, why is it so? Let me share something with you. Let's plot the graph. For instance, if you have this particular graph here, now the graph of c plus 1, remember, let me write it out here c plus 1 equals c. The c plus 1 here is an increasing function because when you add more value of c, when the value of c increases, this function will increase. Then this c here is also an increasing function. What this simply means is that you are equating an increasing function to another increasing function. So in this case, you are likely not to have a solution because the graph of an increasing function is like this. Let's assume this is c plus 1. It goes this way. This is c plus 1. The graph of c plus 1 and the graph of c will also be something like that this is c plus 1 this is also the graph of c so the both of them this is c and this is c plus 1 and this is c so the both of them are going exponentially like that there is no meeting point as long as there is no meeting point between these two lines here that means there will be no solution. For you to have a solution, there must be a meeting point between the two lines. That means this point must intercept with the other line. As far as we don't have the interception, that means there is no solution. So that is just it. That's what I wanted to explain to you in this particular video. Have you seen it? There is no solution. So that is it. Thank you and see you again. If you have any solution, if you think there is a, a solution for this particular equation. 
kindly drop the solution in the comment box and let's check it out together goodbye